Okay, I'm going to show you how to create a permanent link on your Discord so you can have other people follow you on YouTube and different things. Uh, it's going to be a permanent link. You can make it a 30 minute link, I believe, or, well, let's just jump into it. So here's your dashboard, and uh, you're going to go over to the plus, add a server, and then it says that this is free. You can invite friends, create a server. I've already made one. It'll have your channel name there, or your uh, server name, which is your, you know, like your sign-in name. And uh, then you go create. If this video helps. Uh, please like so other people can find it. Then, and so you can find it later. You might want to create some other links. I'm going to. Okay, so now it says invite friends to, to uh, my channel, or my... Uh, my my name my username or yeah and then you're gonna make a like a group name or a server name you're gonna make a server name so invite to invite to this uh, server and basically this is it right here you just you just copy this link the link that's in this box right here you just hit copy and then there's a little blue hyperlink it says edit invite link and you go there it says expire after you could say 30 minutes one hour six hours twelve hours one day or never I went never on mine and then there's another box it says max number of u uses oh it's uses I thought it was users okay a hundred uses you can do one use five use uses I did a hundred so I guess after a hundred people use it, then it's it's expired. You gotta create another one. Okay. Well, I guess that's semi-permanent. You know. Uh, so that's it. Then uh, basically, now you have that link copied, and now you can just uh, right-click and paste wherever you want your hyperlink, and it's the full the full link, the full HTTPS semicolon forward slash forward slash discord dot gg forward slash and then the unique uh, number or code for that server link. So I hope this helps. Thanks. Okay, and I just wanted to add that it does say general in the beginning it will call that server general it looks like but I use the drop down right next to where it says it would say general and then I went uh, server settings and then it says server name and I changed the name there in that box server name save it and escape is over here